Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the New York Mets going up against the Atlanta Braves. First pitch coming your way next. First pitch coming up and on the hill today Spencer Strider what do we need to know here anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance man it's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one does he have a feel for all of those pitches or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants now it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches but if he can he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Duvall sizes this one up, puts it away for the out. Here's a Mets lineup now. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm make him uncomfortable a little bit the guys that can handle the bat and perhaps you know bunt bunt for a base hit get him moving off the mound if you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow step out mess up his timing somehow try to get in his head a little bit and then when he does come in the zone you may only get one pitch you better not miss it one out base is empty Swings and misses, struck him out. Francisco Lindor to the plate now. Fans love him, but he's pretty popular with the players, too. He certainly oh. is, Boog. A player survey on MLB.com listed him as one of the friendliest infielders to chat with during a game. I'm sure he appreciates the recognition from his peers. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Ball. And now it's filled up. Full count. Two outs, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Nothing doing for the Mets. And now the Braves with their first chance to hit. We're scoreless. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Truist Park. And on the hill, a soft tossing lefty. Just like you, Chris. Jose Quintana. What should we keep an eye on here? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard right time here. staying back. Well, the batter down. Uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One, two. on it and misses that's a strikeout couldn't catch up to the heater now oh, there's a small side of relief right there I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass it's not just the pitcher oh, it's the other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing but also be in position to make a play as an outfielder you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base so I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base and that no, just down. misses. It's a good take. One down, base is empty. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's Austin Riley. On the ground to third. Finds its way through base hit. Around first. Digging for two. Throws to second. And he's out. Cut down and that ends the inning. Scoreless after one. And we're 
We're back. Second inning, set to go. Here's Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And another ball. Three balls, one strike. And he can't make the play. But he wins the foot he race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. The right Starling Marte up to hit. Strider's a guy known for his velocity. He can bring it, but that wasn't always the case. Coming back from an injury in college, Strider was throwing 94 to 96 miles per hour boog when the Braves drafted him. Now he lights up the radar gun with triple digit speeds. Righty delivers. Outside low. Two and two. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. Second inning here, no score. And they'll do it again. One down, base is empty. And that one is lifted in the air. Harris makes the catch, and there's two down. That is it. The designated hitter. DJ. Two outs, base is empty. Stewart. And stepping in for New York, DJ Stewart. Oh, Slang and a miss. Shoot. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. Down in order, go the Mets. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning Where at the play. Matt the Olson. The first base. Matt Olson. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two two now. The punch out there, and that's the first out. Here's Marcelo Zuna and a pitch. And there's a foul ball. Ozuna swings and drives one. Well hit to left. And off the base of the wall. Now he turns and heads for second. The relay. And he's in the second with a double. And man, just shy of a homer on that one. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Nice line drive to the pro side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And it's second with one away. Michael Harris. Next up for the Braves. Here comes a pitch. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. One ball, two strikes. One out and a runner at second. One and two now. Got him. Two gone. So here's Murphy now. 
This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him. Control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing. But it's that big arm that really stands out. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. And it's second. That one ripped. And there's a hit. He was all over that one. Nice that was job beautiful. driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So two down, Adam Duvall. Next up for the Braves. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. That misses. Full count three and two. Orlando Arcia to bat next. Runners on first and third. Two away. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Top half of the third inning. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez. Lined into right. Into the dive, and he got it. That again. The third base. So a great diving catch, and that was only possible because of the route he took to get there, right, Chris? Yeah, StatCast shows us just how efficient that route to the ball was. In fact, that's about as good as it gets. Pretty much a direct line to it. And Perhaps he was a wide receiver in a different life. I don't know, but man, great job to hold on all the way through the dive as well. No fumble caused by the ground. That I can watch not. base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting Never coach in the league. Just a Dang nice man. line drive into center field. And now Bader up to the plate. The 1 1. And a swing and a miss there. 1 2. Top of the third, no score. Ball. That misses the zone, and it's 2 and 2. location with the fastball on strike three now, if you're pumping high 90s you get away with some of those more margin for error you know the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport i think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates these fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone so the batting order turns over here's brandon nimmo foul back our way and that's out of play Next one misses, and the count is two and two. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs. Ah, he locked him up, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Mets leave one, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here in Atlanta, here's Orlando Garcia. That's your job. 
Arcia is a 1 1. The shortstop the takes the ball. A little out front there as he swings through it. And here it comes. And that's off the inside edge. And now it's three and two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Line of the pitch. That one oh, misses. Oh, so a leadoff walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. The go. hitter didn't oh, offer it. Now he has somebody the to right worry about. Oh, so oh, the oh, lineup oh, flips oh, over. Oh, Here's Acuna now. The pitch. Rudder takes off. Oh, Come on and miss. One ball. Two Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. One down, base is empty. Ball two. Fights it off, you'll see another. And a pitch. And another ball. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. Here is Ozzy Albee's update. Second baseman, Ozzy Albee. Liner and oh, that got him. And they get the out after the ricochet. On to the fourth, still scoreless. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the, the fourth, Jeff baby. McNeil stands yeah, in. McNeil. 1-1 one, one now. Two and that's one. outside. There's Two. a strike. A wide to kick the pitch. Ball three. He okay. should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's wrong. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. The kick, the three-two. Oh. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Well, Brogue, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Here's Francisco Lindor. Next offer in there for a strike. And a strike two. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. And oh, another yeah. ball. Oh. Swing and a miss struck him out. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking oh, very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these oh, hitters. Oh, oh. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. 
And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. Two down, nobody on. That oh. one missed. Fourth inning underway, no score. The pitch. And no. that's a little bit high. Oh, God. Oh. Swing and a miss, Ooh. struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Mets go down quickly, and we are still scoreless. Back at Truist Park, John Chabby and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Austin Riley. Riley! Kicks and fires. He gets there with the slide to first. And very nicely done for the out. Well, Boog, as an infielder, you have to be ready for anything. In that spot, it required going to the ground, getting a little dirty, and making a strong throw for the out. Great play. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. The wind of the pitch. Inside. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that one fouled off. Line in the pitch. Inside ball four. ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The designated hitter. Runner on at oh, yeah. first with one gone. And now it's the Braves oh, DH, Marcelo Zuna. And now the lefty. Comes yep. up empty. That's strike two. One, two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Foul ball still a one and two count. These hitters like this that have so much power look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, or you're in a broadcast booth, or you're a writer, better keep your eye on the game. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Now in for the Braves, Michael Harris. It's amazing we get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. He gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. Olsen, the runner at first with two gone. Just off the outside edge. Sean Murphy on deck for Atlanta. Three one is on the way. Fouled off. He was late. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Left hand hitter waits. This one popped up right side. Alonso squeezes it, and that is that. One left for Atlanta. Still no score.
And we're back. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's Starling Marte. Starling Marte. Good eye right there. Well, these Mets showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. Oh, Breaking ball in there for a strike. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings oh. something together to take the lead. And the slider just misses. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Marte retired, and there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming yeah. open instead of staying closed. Yeah. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. That's Ball. off the mark. And a count to a One strike. Ball. Wouldn't chase that time. A rare three-ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. And here's a 3-2. And he hits a ground ball right side. Steps on first for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball the out of the air. Okay. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And next for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Halfway through this one, still no score. Back here in Atlanta, here's Sean Murphy. The catcher. Sean Murphy. Foul ball there. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Adam Duvall no, with the play. The left field. Adam Duvall. Way out front for strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And he deals. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Batters and throws to first. And that quickly, two away. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you commit it. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Pitch misses inside, and now three and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Yeah, there's That's ball the ball. four. Take your base. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very the aggressive right secondary right. lead. So ball down the line ball ball. or into the gap here. will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. The 2-1. And that one ripped to left. That's down. One hops off the wall. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double. Second and third now.
So to a board and two out, scoreless game. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. Two on, two outs. And now two balls and a strike. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Activity in the bullpen. Phil Bickford, the young right-hander, up and throwing. The Braves looking to strike first. Last half of inning number five. Got him! Huge strikeout there. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Top of the sixth we inning and ahead. stepping in for New York, Brett Beatty. Brett Beatty. Brett Beatty. And the righty deals. Oh. Just missed. Just missed. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Left hand batter waits. That to right. Acuna sizing this one up. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with pitches that they see pretty well. That was a good example. He hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. And here it comes. That one finds the zone. Two balls, two strikes. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Left Brandon. Here's the left fielder, Brandon Nimmo. And a pitch. Check swing, no appeal. Well, just about to hit Here that one. century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. Ball. And there's a ball. 3 1. On the ground, right side, Albies whips it to That's first. Out. That's out number three. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now, and we still have no score. Bottom of the six, and here is Austin Riley. And a pitch. Turned on, but foul wide of third. The pitch. Inside, no, inside just missed stirring in the bullpen for the Mets Drew Smith up and throwing Lopez also getting ready the pitch still two and two after the foul ball the pitch Stays alive. And a pitch. That misses. Three and two down. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. Score first, it's one nothing. 
He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat, and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. And here comes the Mets manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Jose Quintana out of the game. And they trail as he exits, but he kept them close. A new arm will be on the mound after the break. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, Jake Diekman. Just trying to keep this one close now, here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Here is Matt Olson. feeling at the ballpark especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate this is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club now it's the DH Marcelo Zuna here comes a pitch. Ball, that one no. drifts inside. You know, these Braves put together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. And Ooh. that is cut on and missed. Oh, and it's three and two. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. On the ground, right side, McNeil tosses to first. Out. That was a strong at bat, even though he couldn't find a way on base. Now, that the center, center. Field. Michael. Michael. Michael Harris. Next Harris. up for the Braves. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Ah. A swing and a miss as he chases One, way two. out of the zone. That's two, two. way outside, and it's two and two. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases and he just now takes it away it. Catcher, John Murphy. so now to the plate for Atlanta Sean Murphy Runs across in the inning here in the bottom of the sixth. Fouls it off, still one and two. T 
two outs. Hard Struck three. him out looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. It's now a 2 0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Top of inning number seven, and now here's Jeff McNeil. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. A big first down here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Bounce to the right side into the outfield base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Now bad. The first base dominant performance for him today, Boone. Oh, just oh. two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Next is the cleanup hitter for the Mets, Pete Alonso. Strider checks the runner, Lindor back easily. Hit hard, that gets through. Duvall quickly throws it in. And two on now as they try to rally here. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good oh, about that, that one. That. There's nothing cheap about the, the way he got that one through the oh, infield. Oh, yeah. That was ripped, caught oh, out in front, yeah. and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Two on, one out. Starling Marte now at the plate. That one is absolutely belted. And it's into the gap. Runner around third. One runs in. Relay throw. Save. We are tied at two. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Spencer Strider done for the afternoon, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. A new pitcher in the game, Tyler Matzik. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Go ahead, run on base. Now it's DJ Stewart. Next pitch in for a strike, and the count is one and two. And a swing and a miss. And now two gone. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this whole crowd will be fired up when they can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. Francisco Alvarez digs in now. Kicks and deals. 2-1. And that one fouled off. Breaking ball inside. Three and two now. Action in the pen down there. Joe Jimenez appears to be getting loose. 
Bummer getting cranked up as well. Kicks and fires. Foul tip. Oh, that got her umpire. And it looks like it got him upstairs. Man on second, two down. And a base hit on the line. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score, and the Mets take the lead. Three to two. Big RBI for him right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Two outs, runner on first. Now the third baseman, Brett Beatty. Left-hand hitter waits. And there's a foul ball. Two outs. And another ball. Comes a 2 2. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Already three runs across in the frame here in the top half of inning number seven. Got him screen for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So they get three and jump ahead late. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Mets three and the Braves. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jorge Lopez. These are the spots relievers really now make a name for the themselves. Man. Late Number and close. There's not Jorge. much margin for error, but at the same Lopez. time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Well, well one run game. Right. Now the left no fielder, left. Adam Duvall. Duvall. Looking to get the tying run on base. And a count one and two. Right-handed reliever. Oh, Just misses ball. with that one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. 2-2 Two -two now. And there's a base hit at the left. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel oh, any oh, vibration oh, in your hands oh, whatsoever. Oh, Such oh, a good oh, feeling. That's a good oh, sound oh, coming oh. off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. No outs. Runner at first. Orlando Arcia next up for the Braves. Next no. pitch is outside. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. With the go-ahead run at the plate, you're the bottom of the seven. Swung on, belted. That's bad. A dive, and he can't haul it in. Around second on his way to third. Headed for the plate. Relay throw home. The tag, and he's out. And they cut down the tying run. A lot of real estate to cover on that play defensively. A long throw to the cutoff, man. And then a lot of ground to make up as well on the relay. But an excellent job of execution and getting that out of the dish as he tried to make it home all the way from first base. Ronald Acuna Jr. So the tying run at second. Slice to right, and that's a fair ball. And now it gets into the corner. Run comes in from second. It's 3-3. And he's in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Huge at that to bring home the tying run at this point in the game. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep, so... Pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. One out, runner at second. Ozzie Albies, next up for the Braves. 
As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. And the right hander deals. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Got him looking. That's the second out. Big strikeout there as he works to strand that go ahead run at second base, but job's not done yet. Got to get that last out before you can exhale and get back into the dugout. It's kind of tough to do with this home crowd applying so much pressure. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. And that one hit 97 on the gun. And a base hit up the middle. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He will score and the Braves take the lead. It's four to three. Well, he delivers in a huge spot right there. Well, he's so dialed in. I don't think he even realizes how much pressure exists out there. Very easy swing, nice and relaxed. This is the type of now, the pitcher on here, Drew Smith. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Matt Olson up to the plate. That's oh. outside. Two and one. Righty to the plate. That one fouled off. Two and two. Riley leads off first with two down to the inning. Right hander kicks deals. And down on strikes. And that is the third out of the inning. A couple of runs in the inning puts them ahead. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Braves four and the Mets three. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. A.J. Minter. Well, the best relievers now, love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball. Game. Some of them are just wired Minter. different, so we'll see what he's got here. The pitch. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Riley drifts towards it. And that's a foul ball. Makes the grab one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Back to the top of the lineup, Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. Late that time, it's strike two. Movement in the bullpen. Rysel Iglesias, the closer, is getting ready and perhaps looking at a long save opportunity here. Holding on to a one-run lead, and we're at the top of the eighth. High fly ball out towards left field. Duvall on a dead sprint, racing back. This one's going to carry, and it's gone. That one's got to feel good. And we are tied. It's 4-4. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient. And it paid off. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Jeff McNeil up now for the Mets. One down, base is empty. 
two way one. high with that one. And the count two and one. There's uh -huh. a strike. Two, two. And he grounds one to the right side. Yeah, they get the out. out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Tied at four. Fouls one off. Two and two. And a swing and a miss. At number three. But we're all tied up thanks to this solo homer. It's now tied 4-4. Four -four. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Truist Park, onto the Four bottom of the eighth, eighth, and now the, the DH, Marcelo Zuna. Oh, Zuna. 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 And the pitch. Fall off foul. Ball. And another ball. That's a really Two good take. They tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Oh, Swing and a miss, three. struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that slider down and away, it's just no, kind of a slow down. death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. And next for Atlanta, Michael Harris. This one in the air. Pulls it in, and there's two away. That was a now good, good hard Catcher. fastball with some nice Yaw. ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Tied up here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And that one a little below the knees. The count now two and two. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. And that extends the inning for Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall next up for the Braves. And he did. So now one and two. in a tough spot had to make a great pitch did it got the strikeout gets out of the jam clearly he's happy with those results we're back it's the top of the ninth and there's a new pitcher on the mound Joe Jimenez Joe Jimenez Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. The first baseman, Pete Alonso. Alonso. 
And a pitch. And fouled off. Got him swinging. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. So up next for New York, Starling Marte. Back to the mound. He's got it. In plenty of time to first. And that quickly, two away. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Four, four in the ninth. Outside. And that misses off the outside edge. The Braves bullpen has some activity. Aaron Bummer, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Johnson getting loose as well. just sounded different and yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet man my ears are ringing I can feel that swing from the booth like this guy was looking out over the plate but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball so direct to the pitch absolutely blasted out of this ballpark two outs nobody on now here is Francisco Alvarez two down nobody on and a foul ball Ball on the mound. This is a spot where he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the home run. Forget about now being behind on the scoreboard. Start fresh and get those hitters back up to the plate as quickly as possible. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Got him. Third out, and that ends the frame. And some late inning drama here in the ninth as this homer gives them the lead. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Edwin now, Diaz. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Well, one run game. The batter will be the shortstop. Fernando Arcia. One run game, bottom nine. Swings and misses. One ball. And a count. One and two. Good job to fight that one off. And a pitch. Oh. Oh. 
Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, we see it a lot the more right these days than we three. ever did when I played. Whoa. But a slider oh, in the 90s still catches yeah. your attention, even if you're sitting on the pitch. Good luck recognizing that tight spin and adjusting to the late break. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And a count one and two. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Braves down to their final out. Well, it's got a tough right here. Closer comes oh, in oh, and he strikes out the second, first two three, hitters. It's hard not to be defeated. And then oh, this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. The Braves down to their last out. Now in for the Braves, Ozzy Albies. And that's a little high. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Trying to close out a one-run lead. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. They're down to their final strike. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment. But I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. This could end it. Sends it to center, and this should be it. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, you take a tight ball game into the ninth on the road, you know that you've got some work to do. You've got to score, but then you've also got to get three outs in the bottom half of that inning. They did just that today. Very well played ball game. Get this win on the road. Everybody's happy with the W. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game. For the victorious New York Mets, five runs, seven hits, no errors. They left two runners on base. For Atlanta, four runs on 11 hits, no errors. They left seven runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 15 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Braves and everyone at Truist Park, we'd like to thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you.